different to yesterday, this weather. Yeah, I mean, you could see the sky, so it was nice. Um, and not, not as windy, so uh, the golf course yesterday played really tough in the afternoon to figure out where the wind was, but um, I felt this morning there was a lot of scoring opportunities. In a perfect position going into the weekend. Yeah, I mean, um, good spot to go into the weekend. A lot of golfs left, but um, a good start. Do you have a number in mind on day two, Louis, when you've seen the scores? No, the no, just give myself as many opportunities as I can for birdie, and uh, I did give myself loads. I missed quite a few as well, but um, I'm rolling it nicely and hitting it decent, so um, I'm in a good spot. 36 holes here now. What are the keys to the Australian Golf Club for you, do you think, to make good Driving. Goals? I mean, if you you can take it on a bit with your driver, and if, if you get it down there, you know, um, you can you can wedge it in close, or or um, the greens are so pure that anything inside 25 foot, you know, you feel like you've got a decent chance for beating. It feels like the course is playing short. Does it feel like it out there playing? Um, I think this this morning it might have. The fairways are firming up a little bit, and it's it's nice to get the roll on it. Um, but there's still, I mean, a lot of bunkers so that you need to avoid. You still need to drive it pretty straight. And if you take it on, you know, and, and it comes off, I think you can have a low round. And what do you do from here to Sunday? What's the mindset for tomorrow and Sunday? Nothing different. Just <laughs> go out and play and see how many birdies I can make. Are you just coming into this tournament? Are you treating it like a serious tournament or just more just trying to get a game in order for next week? What was a bit of both. Um, yeah. I think it's fine. Just um, getting the game sharp for next week. It's nice to play the week before and get the jet, jet lag out of the system and, and just to get be ready, um, you know, and um, two weeks I feel in the same country is always nice to just get, get a little bit uh, climatized and just feel the crowd and the vibe yeah. and everything and uh, I think next week would be brilliant with the um, Australian crowd behind us and um, it's probably as best opportunity we're going to get as a um, home turf. Have you had time to do stuff with Ernie and the assistants like after a day's play this week? Or yeah, I've, I've, uh, I mean we're on a group and I've been chatting with Ernie yeah. a lot and speaking you know what he thinks and what we think and mm. so um, we're all ready to go, we, you know all 12 of us we, we're ready to get to next week and, and start to play, it's all now just on us to get the game shot. Ernie said that he has in his phone already all the pairings. He said he's got all the pairings ready in yeah. his phone. Have you had a look at the phone? Yeah, we we um, <laughs> now we, we know what's going on, so yeah. we have a good idea what's going on, and obviously that's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank sure. you very Thank you, much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.